One of my biggest struggles was finding the right running shoe. Today, I'll share my journey and how I found the best running shoe and which one I recommend for you. Now, if you don't wanna watch the entire journey, the best running shoe is Louboutin Red 5-inch heel. That one has the most cushion and balance and you can really go really far with those. You can use my link below, <laughs> I'm kidding. Now, I'm not a real runner, but the best recommendation I found online is to go to your local running store. And I said, whoa, why should I go to one when I can go to all of them? If we've been friends for a while, you know my goal is to run a sub five minute mile, so I need to train. I want to make sure I prevent injury and I'm able to run as fast as I can. So let's go inside and see what shoes they recommend, what we learn, and like what the best tips are. I was hey, just like checking in stock, but I want to get shoes for myself this time. You can scan your feet and that can help us find the right okay. shoe. Okay. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and take your shoes off? But I think it was very interesting. This guy recommended that I have insoles. He's like very adamant that I had pronation. And I see you over pronate. I see, look at your left foot. See how it's curved inward? Yeah. Okay, so that means you need some slow support. When you start to run, this is when your feet roll in, it throws your whole body out of alignment. That uh -huh. puts you more prone to injury. So the longer yeah. you run without support, the more you're pruning. So you want to make sure that some, if you have something that's going to support you. So we're going to get you like some standard running shoes, maybe something from Brooks, New Balance, Saucony's. Uh, so let me see what I can find for you. We just left that shoe store. That one, the guy, this guy was super salesy. I'm a millennial. I'm not into that sales stuff. I feel like we need a Tesla of shoe stores where I could just buy it online and not worry about it. Honestly, after he made me feel guilty, I didn't want to buy shoes anymore. Next was Fleet Feet. I've heard a lot of great things about this store. There's so many around, so I want to see what it was like. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, I wanted to get running shoes. Gotcha, I can help you. Uh, but this, this is called what is this? ID. Okay. It takes a scan of your feet and let me know everything about it, and then we'll okay. go from there. And then based on this software, it's gonna tell me what shoes are best? Yeah. So two different size feet? Yes. So one, one. your left one is a little bit bigger. Than will I get emailed this report? Yes, oh, Okay, will. cool. They did the same scan it looked like, but they told me different things. You don't seem to be pronating. So pronation is when your feet roll in uh -huh. when you're running. There's definitely a margin of error on these tools. So take it all with a grain of salt. Arches, your left one is a little bit lower. Interesting. Uh, your right's a little bit Whatever. higher. So you're not training for any race right now? Uh, no, just like my own race. Gotcha. She would ask me questions on how I'm running, what I'm running for. And do you have any injuries that I should know about? Not that I know of. All right, all right, sounds good. So those are kind of the biggest things, wide shoe, wide toe box, and ideally the ones that are not gonna injure me. Those are the most important things to me. So we're gonna try these shoes on, see how they feel, and uh, see if there's one that's good. For me. And how loose or tight should this be? Um, it depends, not too tight, because yeah. you don't want to, like, your she had kind of like a basic understanding and I think Fleet Feet does like a training for all of their folks so that way they can know what to look at to give you the best shoe recommendation. So I really appreciated that. That's ultra responsive. Yeah, those are very responsive. And what is this? Uh, this one is going to be a really good training shoe. Like uh -huh. it, it will get you wherever you're going mm. kind of thing. They are very soft. When it comes to like softness, like what is better for you? thing to think about is that usually when a shoe is like super plush, especially this one, yeah. you sink inside of the shoe a little bit more, so you uh -huh. lose a little bit of energy when you're running. She gave me a couple options. I got to try all of them on. And how do I go about deciding which shoe I think is best for me? If you're giving me three options, what do I, how do I say? Comfort. Comfort? Yeah. It just means that it, it fits well for you. And I think the biggest recommendation I've heard is take the shoe that feels best to your body. Um, this one felt extremely fast and bouncy, and yeah. it felt like it was launching me forward. Yeah. Um, these ones definitely felt pretty bouncy, uh -huh. and these were the least bouncy, but the most cushion. There's not one that feels like this, but is zero drop like that? No. Now the ISO. Well, thank you oh, so the, much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, is there anything else I should know, or? What, um, running socks, I don't know if you'd know. Are there certain brands that are good, or what, um, what would you recommend? So I uh -huh. don't recommend wearing cotton for running. Okay, no okay. cotton for running. So, reason why is because cotton absorbs your sweat and keeps your feet moist. <laughs> All these options of socks, endless choices, endless choices. And then you got endless choices of shoes over there. This is like, how does one person even figure out? Luckily, she gave me three shoes and like two socks options. Now I just gotta think about it and see which one's best. So this skin definitely has like a margin of error. The girl said I don't have pronation. This guy said I had pronation. I wore socks on this skin. I did not wear socks on the second skin. So I don't really know what to trust. You really gotta, I don't know if these tools are trustable enough. We're gonna go to a third shop just to triple check and make sure all the recommendations kind of like overlap a little bit. And then uh, we'll talk to my running coach. You always wanna get a second and third opinion, even just for your running shoes. We're at the Brooklyn Running Company. We're gonna go inside, let's go see what they recommend. Well, essentially what I'm gonna do is oh. have you do two steps. Yeah, oh yeah, we did. Walking. Okay. 
Just, I want to double check so I can see for myself. And this is, you're analyzing how I walk? Yeah, down. Essentially mimicking what? the stride of a run. I will be right back. What? We'll be right back with some options. Cool, mm -hmm. thank you. No problem. So this is my second time here. I came once and this is when I bought the Saucony Endorphin Speed. And those are great shoes and you can run fast on them. And I want something that's a little lighter, not as fast. And I preferred these shoes because I saw people who were influencers running with these shoes and I was like, I want to be like them. I want to buy their shoe. This shoe is a nice shoe with, uh, again, with a really low offset. A really nice cushioned shoe that will get you through those miles, get you, get you in on all that workouts. Yeah, I keep hearing this is a great long distance shoe. Yep. Oh, an extremely lightweight shoe, very nice and cushy, very, very durable foam as well. Yeah. So the one thing, I tried on the Ultras at another place, yeah. and the one thing I liked was the wide toe box. Like, these all feel kind of squished. Also relatively low offset. A little bit more bouncier than the Clinton, I would say. Okay. Along with just a little bit more of a wider toe box. Check this out. So I got this widget here, and it shows how much I've ran this week. And we're trying to hit 20, 25, so. I'm killing it. I just learned that I went way over the mileage on one of my shoes. Like just visually. Yeah, is this... that, that one looks fine. Oh really? Yeah, so it's time to replace? Yeah. So that could be another reason that I'm getting all of these injuries. Because I started to get some shin pain yeah, and I think I have shin splints. So yeah, that this will help. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Okay, hopefully this will. Yeah, your body will tell you like, listen, what, what's going yeah. on here? So I put 330 I'm miles on these. a little pain. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't stop, yeah. I'm gonna tear something a little bit. Give you a little micro fracture. A little yeah. Little micro tear. Uh, we don't want that. I have been struggling with a lot of injuries. I got an MRI. I have shin splints. So I'm trying to be mindful in terms of my training load as well as making sure I have the proper shoes. And how, how should I decide which shoe is best for these? Whichever one feels further extension of your foot. Yeah. Which one you feel like you'd have to work in the least? And mm. just like whichever one just feels the most natural to you. Well, this feels a lot more firm. So the biggest thing about buying shoes is it's extremely hard. <laughs> I like the feel of the Hoka's more. Yeah, I think I tried on like 20 shoes today. <laughs> Got a lot of extra tees. It's hard. I think the best thing is just get them, wear them, see how this goes, and let's go fast. All right, so I just bought my second pair of running shoes here at Brooklyn Running Company. Honestly, they're the nicest and the best shoe store in New York City. So if you're gonna go anywhere, go to this place because it's the best. And then Colt has the same shoes, so he's gonna start running now. Oh yeah, oh yeah because he knows he needs to exercise and use his Apple Watch more. Yo, you want to <laughs> Let's go. You want to talk about which shoes that you actually bought? No, that was the freaking point. Don't buy whatever shoes I buy. Go buy the shoes that are best for you. That is exactly why I'm not telling you which shoes that I bought. Make sure to turn on your notifications down below if you want to see the rest of the videos. Binge my marathon prep series. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sherman Chairs as well as Strava because you're a runner. Go watch the I Tried Zone 2 training. Very fascinating stuff. Use data. It's a lot of fun. See you next one.